It's estimated that 30 percent of Greater Victoria residents have some Scottish blood in their veins. And now, thanks to volunteers from the Victoria Highland Games Association, the Scots in this region now have a home of their own. Veronica Cooper has more in this week's Vital People. Our association has been around for basically 154 years. And as we've grown and we're now running one of the biggest cultural events in North America, uh, we started looking around, is there a place that we could get together at, maybe call our own? And the Craig Flower property came up from the Heritage Branch. A National Historic Site of Canada, the three-acre Craig Flower Manor is owned by the province. Well, up to then, uh, most of the groups running it had been relying on the government to give them management funding. And we put a proposal in that we would take over the property, maintain it at our own cost, but we like permission to build a community center on the old Craig Flower Motel footprint. The association's proposal was accepted. That was two years ago. And volunteers have been hard at work ever since. It's taken many, many hours of volunteer work to bring it back and refurbish this uh, crown jewel of uh, View Royal. Blackberries had basically taken over the property. You couldn't see the water. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a little run down. The manor itself was having some water problems. The gutters weren't in good shape, uh, needed paint, etc. The side building with the office was run down. The floors were deteriorated. And while volunteers worked tirelessly on the manor, the property is in use too. We've actually been practicing here now for a couple years. That's been great too because a lot of throwers have given back and volunteered hours and um, clearing blackberry bushes and helping on the landscaping of the property. As the manor returns to its former glory, the volunteers know the Victoria Scottish Community Centre is next. I don't think there's anyone among us that haven't worked on the property that don't get a, a sense of excitement to see the potential and uh, look forward to the, the next phase of the project, which is going to be building the new centre. So we have some concept drawings from our architect. Volunteers hope to break ground in 2019, and there's always room for more hands in the clan. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.